Well, we're getting ready to fit this motor into this subframe um, just to see where everything's going to sit and see if we need to do any modifications. We've purchased some billet aluminum mounting adapters. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull these factory motor mounts off. So now that we've got the old mounts off, we're going to go ahead and put these adapters on. Now this is the passenger side facing forward. And we've got four bolts that they gave us from the manufacturer. And we'll put these on. Just snug them up for right now. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to set this down and start to bolt the mounts up. I've already got the mounts sitting in the frame. So we had to pull the mounts back off of the frame so that we could clear this bracket right here. And there's an oil line on the other side. So I went ahead and pulled the mounts back off and I'm gonna lower this down a ways. And then I'm gonna try and set these mounts back in there and see, we may have to mount these mounts to the engine before we set it in here. Okay, I've got something hanging me up on the other side. So we had to pull our bracket back off of this side and clearance this part of the block just a little bit. Now this is where the vacuum pump mounts when they use a supercharged. Um, and since we're not going to use that, it's not that big of a deal to, for us to go ahead and move that out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bracket back on. We had to clearance this to make a uh, room for the motor mounts. So I'll put this bracket back on and then we're going to go ahead and, and put the motor mounts on it. One of the things that I want to talk to you about just a little bit is the fact that I brought this frame in to do this engine mock-up has saved me a lot of stress already because had I been in the engine compartment trying to bolt this up when I realized that we didn't have clearance, I would have been very frustrated and pulling things in and out of the car where with this I can mock everything up and make sure that it's gonna fit before I start putting the engine into the car. Now that we have the engine setting in the car, we've had to make a couple of adjustments to these motor mounts, which I knew would probably be the case because of this frame on this car is just a little bit different than the frame that we use to mock things up. However, you can see that we have the motor mounts bolted on both sides. And they're all set in place where they're supposed to be. The engine is completely lined up. It is now mounted to both the frame on the engine and to the frame on the transmission. It was really a help to have that subframe here to mock things up before we put things in the car. Thanks for watching.